Hello everyone. Today I'll be talking about a program that we're developing that formalizes natural language text to lean expressions. Uh, the program is called GF Lean and it uses a tool called Grammatical Framework. That's why the title of the talk is Auto Formalization via Grammatical Framework. So this is how the talk is structured. First I'll talk about GF Lean and then I'll talk about grammatical framework. Next, I'll talk about simplifi simplified FODL, which is the control natural language in which the input for GFLean is written. Later, I'll explain how GFLean works. And at the end, I'll talk about the limitations of GFLean and the further plans to extend it. So GFLean is a Haskell program that converts, converts natural language text blocks to lean four terms. And the input that GFLean accepts, it's written in a controlled natural language called simplified FODL. The output that it produces, uh, it needs to be post-processed before it can be passed on to lean. GF uses, uh, sorry, GFLean uses a tool called grammatical framework for passing the input and linearizing the output and GFLean only works with statements and not proofs. Now we'll see some examples of GFLean input and GFLean output. So this is something which GFLean takes as an input and this is the output that it produces. Uh, so it can handle uh, symbol symbols and stuff like bracket two cross two into two and variables. It can also handle sentences uh, with quantifiers and uh, it can handle entities where the entities are modified via, via left adjectives. For example, we can say every odd integer, something, something, something. And also the entities can be modified by an adjective on the right. So we can say every odd integer greater than two is greater than one. And it produces the correct output for the sentence. Uh, also, we can have natural language quantifiers like for no even for no integer something happens, and also uh, GFLean correctly models how uh, natural language quantifiers interact with other logical operators like negation in the sentence. These examples can also be found on the GitHub repo. Uh, GFLean uses grammatical framework for passing the input and linearizing the output. Uh, grammatical framework or GF, it's a, it is a functional programming language specifically designed to write and implement grammars, both formal grammars and natural language grammars. Each GF program is just a GF grammar and each GF grammar is made up of one abstract syntax and multiple corresponding concrete syntaxes. So all the co concrete syntaxes refer to the same abstract syntax and this terminolo terminology has been taken from compilers. Uh, the translation process is that one writes the text in using one concrete syntax and the text it's converted GF finds the abstract syntax tree for that specific text and then linearizes it using the other concrete syntax. So the abstract syntax, it acts as a bridge between the various concrete syntaxes. And uh, the concrete syntaxes and the abstract syntaxes are designed in such a way that the abstract syntax, it encodes the thing that has to be preserved during translation, essentially the meaning. And the concrete syntax is supposed to encode all the language specific peculiarities. Uh, for example, one can have multiple concrete syntaxes for natural languages and a common abstract syntax and the translation process. For example, if one wants to translate from Japanese to Chinese and the translation process goes like this, one writes the text, the Japanese text, it is converted uh, GF finds the abstract syntax tree for that text and then linearizes it as a Chinese text. So GF is a high level language for writing grammars. One just needs to write the grammar rules and you get the parser for free. 
also there are many uh, writing a grammar in gf is easy in the sense that one can use records tables and parameters to model language specific peculiarities also uh, it gf already has a lot of natural language grammars defined and one can import them as software libraries the the library is called resource grammar library or rgl which has implementation of 35 natural languages with a common abstract syntax also as gf has been written in haskell uh, the gf grammars can be embedded in haskell programs and the abstract syntax trees can be manipulated as haskell objects so if one wants to do some tree manipulations on the abstract syntax trees one can use haskell for that and by having this distinction of abstract syntax and concrete syntax gf makes the task of grammar writing more modular by distributing the functionalities now we'll talk about simplified fordel which is the uh, control natural language in which the input for gf lean is written so simplified fordel is just a simplified version of the control natural language fordel and fordel was developed for system of automated detection and also the approach cnl is based upon uh, simplified fordel our implementation of the simplified fordel in gf is based upon a previous fordel implementation in gf uh, so there are some differences between fordel and simplified fordel and i'll explain how exactly is simplified fordel more simple compared to just fordel so in fordel one uh, an entity can have a, any number of left adjectives so one can write x is an odd non-negative blah 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 prime integer but in simplified fordel one can just have a single left adjective so to to write the same thing one has to write it in multiple sentences or join the sentences via an and so one can write x is an odd integer full stop x is non-negative full stop x is prime in fordel it is possible to have a conjunction of predicate lists so one can write x as odd and greater than four but in simplified fordel one has to uh, write two sentences x is odd and x is greater than four one can't cannot use the same subject with a conjunction of predicate list similarly conjunction of term list is allowed in fordel but in simplified fordel uh, conjunction of term list is not allowed you can just use a single term for the list extended in the sense sorry sorry for the is dynamic in the sense it can be extended during runtime uh, by the user like given they write their sentences in a specific patterns one can add the nouns and adjectives in for the grammar but since gf grammars are static one the simplified for the can't be extended during runtime uh, by macro level grammar, we mean uh, the grammar that is above sentences, that is the grammar which decides how the example blocks, the proof blocks, and the definition blocks are to be written. So macro level grammar of Fordel is geared towards system of system of automated deduction, but the macro level grammar for Fordel is geared towards lean because our target language was lean. So this is how Fordel differs from simplified Fordel. Now we'll see how GF Lean works. So uh, there are four steps that four main four steps that GF Lean takes to convert a simplified Fordel text to a Lean text. Uh, so I'll just go over them, not in much detail now, and later I'll explain each of the processes in detail. So first step is passing, which is done via GF. So a simplified Fordel text is taken and then using GF, uh, we get an abstract syntax tree. Then we do some tree simplifications. Uh, we do some abstract AST simplifications via Haskell so that the tree gets in a de desirable form. After that, we take the AST and then we translate it into the ASTs for lean expressions. This too is done via Haskell. And later again, to go from the lean ASTs to lean expressions, we use GF. This process is called linearization. 
So now we'll go, we'll see each of the processes in detail. Uh, we use GF for passing the simplified Fourzel expressions. And for that, we had to write a, an abstract syntax and concrete syntax for the simplified Fourzel grammar. The concrete syntax is still very crude and it can be made, made better. Currently, for example, GFLean accepts sentences like assume X are an odd integers, which is ungrammatical. But with some improvement, it 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 can be designed in such we can design it such that it only accepts assume x is an odd integer or assume x and y are odd integers. This happens because it's uh, there are records, tables, and parameters to modify concrete syntax to our will. Once we have passed the simplified for the expressions and once we have their ASTs, we uh, we simplify the ASTs uh, and we do, and simplification is uh, made up of these three small processes. So first of all, every entity gets a name and then there's some variable name unification happening in the background. And the sentences are written in a specific form, which we use later for translation. For example, if we had the AST for this sentence, every odd integer greater than two is greater than one. Uh, after simplification, we get the AST for this sentence, which means the same, but has some extra information. Like we have the variable names and the sentences in a specific form. So we get the, we have the AST for the sentence, then for every integer x6, such that x6 is odd and x6 is greater than two, x6 is greater than one. Once we have the simplified ASTs, we translate them to the ASTs for lean expressions. And here is where we model how natural language qu quantifiers and the logical operators, how they interact with each other. Uh, does the AST for this sentence, then for every integer x6, such that x6 is odd and x6 is greater than two, x6, x6 is greater than one. It becomes the AST for this lean expression. And finally, we use GF again to linearize the ASTs, uh, lean ASTs to lean expressions. Uh, once again, I repeat the output that is produced by GFLean should be post-processed and it is not, the, the output needs to be post-processed before it can be passed on to lean. For example, it produces outputs where the variable names look like this, bracket x space one, bracket x space two, etc. And we know that these are not correct lean identifiers. We would want them to be x1 or x2. Uh, also the hypothesis variables, which are spit out by GFLean, they look like H question mark. So there needs, there is a need to do some post processing. Now I will speak about the limitations of GFLean and how we plan to extend it. So some class of sentences are not handled very well by GFLean. Specifically, uh, when the quantifiers are in the predicate, these kinds of sentences cannot be simplified and translated by GFLean. Uh, for example, this sentence, every integer is greater than some real number. This can't be handled by GFLean. And sentences of the, where the sen sentences of the form x is x is an adjective common noun like x is an odd integer. It's not simplified. It's sorry. It is simplified but not translated by GFLE. For example, if we have a sentence assume x is an even integer greater than thirty two, it would get simplified to assume x is an integer x such that x is even and x is greater than thirty two, but it won't be translated. And we did not implement the translation part because of time considerations. Uh, yeah, there are some other limitations like simplified for the list too simple to be used as a control natural language for mathematics. And it is not possible to extend the grammar during runtime, which does not make GFLean a very practical tool right now. Uh, as we could, as we saw, we had to use brackets to disambiguate symbolic expressions. And currently, GFLean has a very tiny lexicon. It has just four adjectives and five nouns. Or in in, so it has a very small lexicon. How we plan to extend it? First, we plan to implement the support for sentences where the quantified notions are in the predicate, and this would need a thorough understanding of how scoping works in the language of mathematics. We also want to add support for sentences of the form x is an odd integer. Like x is an adjective common noun. 
we want to extend GF, GF lane to Fordel from simplified Fordel to Fordel. And we want to implement the operator and logical precedence in the natural language concrete syntax. We want to make the concrete syntax better on both the sides. And we want to increase the lexicon. Uh, now there's one question which we have not answered, uh, which is where is lean in the loop? And the answer is nowhere. GF lean does not communicate with lean at all. Which is, uh, we would want GF lean to communicate with lean, but for that, ideally GF lean should be implemented in lean itself because Lean is a full-fledged programming language with a good metaprogramming support and one can access the environment in Lean itself. So it would, one way to add dynamicity and to be able to extend the grammar during runtime would be to implement GF Lean in Lean itself. But how big is that task? I'm not sure about that. The other overarching question is why? Why to even work with GF lean and rule based methods for uh, translation when language models al already do a good enough job. Uh, one direction that I can see in which that I see in which rule based uh, models might be useful is natural language generation that is starting with a lean expression and producing natural language text corresponding to that lean expression. Uh, so that even if a language model does produce a lean expression, there is a way. To, so for, if if there's a sure sure way to convert a lean expression to the correct natural language expression, then even if a large la, even if a language model produces a lean expression, one can use the rule based methods to check whether that real uh, lean expression actually does correspond to the correct uh, natural language expression. That is, one can use the rule-based methods as a filter to make sure that your that the output given by large language model, if it is hallucinated, then it's easier to figure out to, to figure out the hallucination when it's written in a natural language form. Uh, these are the papers that have been referred in the presentation. Thank you.